hi guys welcome back to my channel let's transform my hair from this to this if this is something that interests you keep watching so i did a process where i showed how i prepare my hair for wash day and the after wash day process to prepare it for breeding and it has made my routine a lot more easier and this was me doing a length check and basically my hair was so easy to separate and so easy to work with because of my wash day routine if you'd like to see that i'll put a link in the description box let's get into this hairstyle so first of all i just took a rat tail comb and i parted my hair from ear to ear and if you notice i didn't comb my hair again because during my detangling process i detangled my hair properly so there was no need to comb and shed hair unnecessarily so i just packed the rest of my hair and put it out of the way so i could work with the front so i made the center part because i wanted to have like straight lines and basically i like to use this knitting pin to get my lines clean you would notice that i'm alternating between using a rat tail comb and the knitting pin so i'm just parting from back to front as i feel like this kind of gave me more direction and after making a pattern i just made a knot you might be wondering why i'm taking my time to show you how to part the hair how to get it out of the way and how to braid your hair i just always assume that when people are watching my video this might be your first time tuning in and it might be your first time looking for a crochet hair tutorial so i just want to do my best to gather all the information that you need into one video so that every time you click onto my video you learn everything and it is a full package so basically i made six conroe um patterns in front on each side so the total amount of spaces i had or the total amount of conroe patterns i had were up to 12. doing this and keeping it out of the way kind of made it easier for me because when i would just come i wouldn't start patting again i just pick it and braid Now that we're done parting, I am just going to start doing my cornrows. And basically, doing cornrows is just um, kind of putting one finger underneath the other one and picking hair as you go. I think that's the easiest way I can explain this. And after braiding the first one, I'm going to show you how I also braid the second one and connect it. And um i think that this method helps me to keep my hair out of the way again and to have it a little bit more compact so this is me taking out the second um knot and gathering what little edges i have even though i know i didn't need to braid them it's just that they were too long and unruly so i just braided and did my cornrows as usual so when i got to the back instead of just braiding the tail i'm going to pick that first cornrow and put it into the second corn row and that is how i merge each of the corn rows into each other and then i have one straight corn row at the end of the day so this is me just picking the tail of the hair attaching it to the new braid and braiding as usual um, it might take you some time to get this but quite frankly it's a little bit easy and one good thing about this is it's not something that you're going to go out with so if it is not perfect no problem this is me at the last braid and as you can see i have connected all the previous cornrows together and it just looks like one cohesive braid i'm just going to braid and attach again Now that we are done with the front cornrows, I'm going to go on ahead to do the back. Remember how I parted my hair from ear to ear? Now the braids for the back are going to be parted in that same fashion, ear to ear, ear to ear. And I'm just going to braid and connect as I go. I always like to keep my hair out of the way so that my braids will come out as neat as they possibly can. And I'm just going to braid, connect, braid, connect. And please you don't want to pull too tight because when I was done with this braid I noticed that the sides of my ear were a little bit red <laughs> even though I wasn't feeling any pain but you know it was red so um, it was an indicator that I probably put pressure 
so i braided and i twisted the remaining tail and i just used my crochet to secure the tail of the braid so that it doesn't stick out one day when i'm not really looking you want to make sure that you cover all your bases and you tuck any loose ends so this is just what i'm doing you know tucking it into the previous braid now here comes the easy part i am using these hair extensions called nova and this is how the part looks like the back and the front they are pretty long and i'm not sure how many inches shy i think maybe 18 to 20 inches and this is how each loop looks like this is what you're going to use to connect the crochet to your hair putting the crochet into your hair pull the loop that i just showed you through the other side and then take the tail of that braid and pull it through the loop of the crochet extension it's basically like you are sewing something you want to make sure that you are making a knot so that it doesn't come undone you put in your crochet downwards this is for the back and then you pull the loop of the crochet extension through your braid and when it comes out on the other side you take the tail and you loop to cause or to make a knot so that it doesn't lose now you might notice that i'm giving space large spaces in fact because i'm trying to economize the extensions they have about 60 pieces and 60 pieces should be enough for one head of hair and there are different ways to do crochet where you know it looks more natural the single single braid um underneath but this is the method i wanted to use because it's easier and if you notice i'm giving some kind of space that looks like i'm laying brickwork and that's what i do to um, help me to manage the extensions and help it to look fuller even though it's probably not so we're here at the front now and as you can see i'm still maintaining the space i'll put one at the back put one in front you want to be careful when you get to your edges you want to be gentle as well because you don't want to cut any hair that you've grown so the same thing pull your crochet extension through the corn row and then pull the tail to form a loop or a knot and now look at what i'm trying to show you i try to do this sensibly so that you can see there's a space down and at the top i use the crochet to cover that space and that's the same thing i maintain throughout my head put the crochet hook pull your extension through the other side pull the tail and form a loop that's exactly how i did it and when i got to the front i reduced the spaces because we want to give it a fuller look and we want the front to look like you know the extensions were actually full meanwhile it's just one that we used we all know that the economy is hard so using two full packs of extensions can be expensive anyway if you have any extras you can go back and cover any um loopholes or whatever it is that you see at the back and you don't want um that's what i did here and this is exactly how my hair looks afterwards lightweight it looks full enough and it's a pretty hair style a protective style that i can rock for a few weeks i'm not sure what you think about this unless you let me know so please comment down below and let me know what you think of this hairstyle if you'll be trying it out and if it interests you please check out any of my previous videos and remember to like comment and subscribe before you leave Thank you and see you next time. Bye.